world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Grim Dawn on my Green Mamba Bill. If you guys like what you see, drop a like and consider subscribing. Okay, in the interim, I'm just going to go and get rid of that. I said I was going to go back and get another one of the uh, Swift Tongue daggers. And I went ahead and did it, and I'm, I'm happy I did. I went ahead and got the uh, mutagenic icor on both. So I've got, you know, it's really nice the amount of poison damage I can do. I mean, it's not like I'm, like, super powerful, but it's just it's just that next hit of poison damage that I really like. I already picked a cultist. I don't want to put any points into it yet. I want to add points to my poison damage. Now you can see I've really buffed my blade bursts with those two rings that I have on. So I could take that extra point I put out I took put in there. I'll take it out later. Question is, what do I want to add to probably this because it'd be straight damage uh boost in my acid and my poison. But so with this. I'm going to put all three points in here. I really want to boost that acid and poison damage. All right, let's go ahead and get the map. But oh, I the wrong one. This is the guy I wanted to do, but that's okay. He'll go down quick anyways. Oh, yeah, this is that double spawn. There's usually a third one in the area. I bet he can get a third one, or is that down him? That's probably them down there. Let me check and make sure I don't have a devotion point to put. Nope, not yet. Soon, I hope. Very soon. Yeah, I see the star down there. That's a quest. Uh, green shield. Eh, not my cup of tea, but still nice to get. Oh, I love that big smack. It hits everything around me. And you just saw him melt from the poison and acid damage. And that's another level. Alright, that's fully buffed. That's how quickly I can get that buffed. Now I'm doing a lot of poison. 155 poison damage, 890 or acid damage, 155 acid, 890 poison over 5 seconds, plus 66 to my acid, plus 66 to my poison. I slow the target and I've got piercing damage converted to acid damage. Very nice. Nice set right there. And I'm pretty sure, isn't that almost every hit? No, the chance, you can see now this modifies this. So I do need to point points here so that it's being used. And then I think it will, the shears, the quick cut and whirling death. It does not affect execution though. But anytime I use one of these three, it'll now do poison damage. And that's the whole point in this. So I do need to buff those a little bit so that they're used more often. But when they are used, it's gonna be a huge amount of poison damage. Probably should have put some more points into making it proc more often and not trying to just buff the poison damage because I forgot that you know, yeah, I've got the poison damage, but only if I proc it, and I'm only procking it 8% of the time. Hello. That time I proc, though, I think that, yeah, I saw a lot of green, so I'm wondering if that procced. Let's go this way. Uncover this. Anytime I see a, a fog in the area, I want to uncover it. Never know, I might find more rare spawns. I ended up finding a rare spawn off camera too when I was uh, going back and getting that second dagger. Unfortunately, it was off camera. Nothing special dropped from it, but it was, uh, I've seen several rare spawns and it's nice to see that. All right, percent all damage. Yeah, I'll put that on. No, ring, poison damage. 
Plus one to Drag's evil eye. Now the question is... Void burst and acid damage, but not the actual poison damage. So it would be nice to switch over. Unless it's a really heavy duty poison damage weapon, nothing's probably going to be better than what I've got right there. Okay, oh, wanted to check the stuff I picked up. Um, darn, I still want to find out where that spawn is, but I guess I can look at it later. Yeah, let's keep moving. Head toward Bur uh, Burwich now. Oh, I just splatted. He just went splat all over the place. Yes, the carnage looks recent. Now, I'm not using the poison bomb as much. I'd still keep it on my weapons just because it's the best uh, poison buff I can put on my weapons right now. But the, t the time it takes for the poison bomb to arc and hit, I'm usually already smacking them and, and doing more than enough poison damage. Spawn areas, I'll drop it down because it'll inhibit the spawn of the next enemies. Ah, I was hoping for the, uh, the merchant over here, so I have to go to the other side of the map for that. Nine times out of ten, I usually find them in this area, but there is another spawn location for them. I'll have to go through the cave. I think probably the cavern is the fastest way to get over there. Just follow me. Oh, actually. Ah, uh, I couldn't reach him. I thought about just to uh, throw poison down there on top of him. Dude, that heal's nice. Ancient heart. Okay. Just pick the stuff up. Thank you. One thing of ectoplasm. I'll wait. I'd like to put ectoplasm on that ring. Now I have considered going into the occultist to get Dreg's evil eye. Just because it'd be a nice poison. I I guess. I don't know. I did I didn't want to be a caster this time though. Even though I'm using the poison burst or the poison bomb, it's just because it's a it's an, an augment. It's it, it's a ability granted by an augment. It's not more of a of a caster thing to me. I just find it very slow. But if I'm killing fast enough without it, it doesn't really matter. Plus, both daggers have their own innate uh, poison attack on hit. Oh, wait a second. No, I have my, my burst up. All right. I mean my uh, veil of shadow because that can cause my weapons to proc as well. Not just me hitting something. Anytime anything is affected by my veil of shadow, I can proc that poison. So instead of a, of an ice dart or a fireball going out, I my weapons spit poison at my enemies. King Cobra style instead of Green Mamba style, I guess. There's something else in here? No, I don't think it's just an empty area. Let's go ahead and exit. Now I'm on the foggy bank. 
growl. Go growl at something that really cares. I don't. Can't do that yet. I'm not having any luck finding the, the the caves that I normally seem to find like right away. Or the merchant. Now the merchants should be down over here. I think there's three places they could that the guy could spawn in. If I remember correctly. I've only cleared one of them. It's 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 two or three. I can't remember exactly. I, yep, there he is. Doesn't matter, because I found him now. Sweet. I guess my second merchant. Always nice to have. Let's go across this way. We'll call out the major part of this, which is probably going to be empty, except for you guys, which you're already dead. Right, walking through that poison. Spawn into that poison. Yeah, I do have to put some more points in there to make my uh, my shears and stuff proc more often. Later on, I'll probably have enough plus skills that I won't need to add any points to it. I'll just take those points back. That would be a, a temporary uh, point boost. Oh, I love this run in here. This is, should be fun. I'm going to go ahead and use the portal. There should be a portal at the beginning of this area, the flooded passage. And I'll use that to run back to town. Pretty think, pretty sure I can throw, yeah, probably pitch most of it. See anything you like? I was looking at it as I was going through and, oh, acid, bleed, poison, ripcannon missile, but it's not better than the ones that I've got. Physical. I have seen a good amount of greens dropping. And that's nice. More greens, please. Always good to get greens. Check the rings and the necklaces real quick. For poison variants of them. Oh, acid and poison. 10 poison versus 2% total speed. I think I will do that this time. Iron well spent. Having the speed's nice, but I really want that poison damage. Ah, so close to leveling. Well, not close, but closer than what I was. Maybe Safe I should storage. say it that way. No questions. Yes, yes, I know, no questions. Maybe you should question, because I put some weird stuff in here. All right, this probably breaks my heart, but I'm gonna put Ecto on that. And I'll put Ecto on that. I can always take the Ecto back, but. It's just sitting in my, uh... Oh, no, no. Thank you. It's just sitting in my stash doing nothing. I might as well use it, right? Better armor. Uh, doesn't have the stats on it. Just aren't enough to really make it worthwhile keeping, in my opinion. 13, which means next level I'll be able to use my ribbon. So I'll take that with me. I can sell those and I'll, I'll save that in case for another start of a character possibly. I don't think there's any really good rings up here or necklaces that I haven't already looked at. And that's good. I hope so. I have no choice but to give it to you if I want to store stuff. But not like the game gives me that much of a choice. And actually, I think I will go ahead and... What troubles you? 
buy back those two points. Five points. Making it even six. I'm gonna take a few points back. Stay strong. Yes, yes, thank you. So that I can See the pierced acid. Eleven pierce. Wish that was I could convert cold to poison. That would be nice. A twelve percent undo. That makes it twenty percent chance and a fifteen percent chance. I think for now I'll do that. Long term, I won't because I'll use, I'll put one point in there and I'll let all the plus to Nightblade gear, let that actually boost those, those skills. But for now, I want to be able to proc, I want that poison to be procking as often as possible. So I'll put those points in there. Like I said, I can always take them out. It's one thing about this game that's really nice is... Uh, you can really customize your character. Smack. Yeah, I got enemies that are frozen. They're being poisoned. This is nice. Controlling the battlefield. Oh, tried to roll. Tried to use my stamina that I don't have and dodge or roll. Told you I'd do that. I'm, I need to put my thumb on my uh, the armrest of my uh, keyboard and not because it's always hovering over the space bar because that's how I, my hand normally sits when I'm playing, especially ARPG games. And yeah, I need to stop that when I'm playing Grimton. <laughs> the constant pausing and unpausing is probably annoying as hell. You can't roll or jump or dodge in this game. Stop trying to do it. All right, there should be a way up over here. No, it's not blocked, okay, as I say. I was about to say, unless of course it's blocked, which it's not, so that's good. Level 14. All right, experience is gonna start flowing a little bit better. Don't come over here. You can buff your buddy if you want, but don't come over here. I'll put point there because that's straight damage. Firm, no devotion point. And let's go here. I'll put the metal on. Oh, I forgot to sell those. Oh, well. Now I've got the metal. It gives me acid, poison, and experience. It's not a great metal, but it happens to be a metal that... that works perfectly into my uh, character build. That's right, melt for me. Yep, I'm seeing the uh, those shears proc when she swings her weapon from either side and brings them down on an enemy. I think that's one of my, uh, one of the things proccing. I saw a buff. What's the buff right there? Lethal assault. Okay. Ah, they're slowing me. That sucks. I want to be light on my feet. I know I might be missing stuff in, the, in this area, guys. You're like, oh, you, you missed this or this chest. I'm trying to get through it not as quickly as possible, but without wasting oh, too much time. Oh, fro freeze. Gonna poison bombs out, let them walk through it. Because they're gonna amble toward me anyways. Might as well use it to my advantage. Look how fast they die now. Smack. Awesome. 
Now I'm starting to feel the build. The build's really starting to come together for me. He's gonna watch his, his points melt away. Bye bye. And I'm trying to roll the, the thing and I can't roll. I did it again. Anything interesting? I probably not. More chaos damage. Movement speed and 4% cunning. Well, cunning helps my daggers, so I think I will switch over to that. It helps my crit and helps my daggers. Oh, I'm not sure which blacksmith I want. The one's more elemental, more magical, and the other guy's more more melee. Oh, hello, traveler. So this is the guy that's this is Duncan. He's more melee. When you get his stuff, he can give you different buff. But it's more mana focused. If I remember correctly, so I think I want, and you can you can change this every time that you play through the game. I think you know it gets harder. You play through it. The uh, you can change it to go for a different uh, a different blacksmith the next time you play. So it's not like the end of the world if you pick the wrong one. But I'm pretty sure I don't want duck in this time. If I'm going to do a melee uh, centric build. I don't think ducking helps with poison. But I might look it up before I make the final choice just to be on the safe side. Because I feel really, really stupid. Let's go ahead and we'll take out the occultists over here. They're always, it's always a good run from experience. And there's a chance they'll drop the key for that uh, hidden area. Not hidden, but it's a locked door that you can't get through without the key. There are different ways to get in the key, but I prefer the way of uh, them dropping the key for me. Claw. Oh, 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 I'm taking some damage. Yeah, this isn't an Omni powerful build, so I need to be careful. Like a poison explosion would be nice. But like I said, I'm not trying to go the the caster route. I could easily do it by shifting points into uh, the occultist, but. Like I said, I don't want to go for the caster. I want to go for the melee character. See, right now it's it's locked and it's like she said she can't open that I had to prove that I didn't have the key you never know could have picked it up but you would have seen this strange key at least I should have seen it in my inventory I have missed it before on the ground I had to run back and get it Now these enemies are gonna are I'm gonna start getting larger groups of enemies where these poison bombs will be more useful. I'm hoping they'll be more useful. If not, I'll probably take them off my bar and stop using them as a as an attack. Let's see, I'm gonna come back to him later because I don't want to make the decision yet. Now these guys like to run right at you, so putting a poison bomb down and just standing uh, near or behind it will let will have them run right into it. And basically, they're gonna throw themselves at your poison and your acid and just breathe it in and die. Great fun will be had by all.
Okay, there's the power of poison. The power of poison compels you. The power of poison compels you. I, I messed it up. Darn it. Come on, run toward me. Go for the healer. I can shadow strike the healer. Smack. You were gonna die. You should have known you were gonna die. Mud row. Almost a bur burwitch. I'm so close I can taste it. Do I just want to run to Burwitch and then come back out and clear it? Which I'll probably end up doing. Level 15, nice. How far am I from Burwitch? Not far at all, actually. We're going to go ahead and keep going because I'm so close to... To Burwich, I want to go ahead and get that next waypoint. Then I can come back out and clear out these areas. There's uh, an NPC out here that I want to send back. There is a uh, little mini boss that I definitely want to go ahead and, and take out. Good loot, good experience. Yeah, unless there's a crowd, I think, that I won't use, or it's definitely a boss, mini or otherwise, I'll, that I'll use the poison bombs on. If not, I think I'd just rather go up and smack them. That's what this character does. The, uh, the poison eventually is going to be centric to this character, but right now it's kind of a, a, just an extra damage until I build it up a little bit higher. This is definitely the right way. More I-Core, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and level three points. Every time I use it, it's just gonna buff my damage. It's one of the best things to do for this character. All right, spawn in. I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops put as many, I know I did it again, put as many poison bombs around here as possible. So when things spawn in, they'll already be poisoned. I was hoping for the, the three spawns so I could really put it, but I was taking some damage. It wasn't like I wasn't, so. Go back to town. Go to this merch. Nope. Nope. Probably nothing in here that I'm gonna want to switch to. I'm thinking. That's why I'm kind of slowing up as I go through. Because I don't want to sell something I might want to keep, but more than likely, those are already sells. This is better than the one I've got. Acid poison experience. And reduce stun? Yes, I'll take that. Definitely. Because it was a little bit better. See you around. One more experience. Thank you very much. I'll give you a good Did you have anything I wanted? Left. Doesn't look like it. Nope. You yeah, you gotta have better stuff if you want me to spend money on you, though, buddy. Can't be all this just generic stuff. Give me something worth it. Iron well spent. Go ahead and turn this one in. And I should have, have you another found quest a risk to pick up. Good work. While you were gone, I, there have been Warden Krieg. So that's the quest to kill the warden, and that's the final guy in Act 1. Now, there's still a lot of other stuff to do. Oh, she doesn't have the quest for me yet. Oh, well. But, my time is up. 
I've been Critical. This has been Grim Dawn. If you guys have enjoyed this content, drop a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.